talking to Francisco, who recently landed his first data analytics job. Um, so Francisco, uh, you want to uh, like you to tell a little bit about your background uh, prior to uh, joining Course Career. So you know what uh, education did you have? What school, sure. schooling? What what other jobs? That kind of stuff. Yeah. So my main, I guess, previous experience has been a lot in like sales. So sales and like uh, retail sales, selling insurance, mostly in communication. Um, as far as like education and things of that nature, I was going to college, but I decided not to complete it. I was pursuing a degree in finance, but in my last year, I decided, you know, it probably wasn't for me. Uh, and so that's why I kind of uh, navigated towards sales because I knew, you know, learning how to communicate could be a very beneficial skill to learn. Um, so, yeah, sales and insurance is mainly my background. And so why did you decide to kind of make a pivot and look at data analytics instead of doing, for example, tech sales? Yeah, so it, it was during insurance. When I was doing insurance, a lot, my mentor really taught me how, how I can take the data that I'm you know, doing from the calls and actually organize it in a way where I can be a little more profitable in terms of like knowing what areas to, to focus on. And so at that point, I really started to know or realize how important you know, gathering data is cleaning it up, things of that nature. So um, I already had like a little taste of data analytics, I guess you can say. Yeah. And so as I started to look more into, I guess, a little bit of data analytics, I started to think, you know, it's probably a career path I would like to pursue. Right. So uh, that's when I found Course Careers. Okay. And, and how did you end up, uh, yeah, you, start, you sort of started to get into it, but how did you hear about Course Careers? Yeah. So it was mainly through TikTok. Um, I, I saw I saw individuals who have who, you know taken course careers and either landed roles in IT or in ad or in data lab, data analytics uh, itself. And so at first I was kind of like kind of brushed it off, kind of like how you usually do it. But as I kept you know kept feeding me, kept feeding me, I decided to take a look and I started reading into like all the different areas course careers offers from like tech sales all the way to you know, data analytics, IT, or HR. Um, and I thought data analytics would be, you know, something I would like to do. And I ended up reading the description, um, going through that free course, and then I ended up purchasing uh, the actual course itself. Um, and as you went through the course, did you do, did you have any of the, so the, the course teaches Excel, SQL, um, Python, and Tableau. Did you, you probably had experience with Excel, but not the other ones. Am I guessing right? Yep. I had an experience with Excel, but like SQL, Tabular, and Python, those are all new to me. Yep. Um, so those were, you know, a challenge in itself. But gotcha. um, the course did explain everything well, um, which I'm sure we'll, we'll kind of get into it here in a little bit. Yeah, okay. So so since we're talking about it, so what was your experience going through the course? Did you just do the videos or did you end up using the Discord and like the teaching assistants a lot to, to figure things out? Or, you know, how was your progress? Yeah, so... Where so Excel because I already had some background on it, I pretty much kind of breezed through it. I guess you can say, yeah. It was when me I, I started like taking advantage of the Discord and the teachers and the, you know the teaching assistants was when I started learning SQL. Um, SQL was a, a challenge um, in itself. I had to constantly, constantly watch the videos over uh, when I was doing practice problems um, in the videos. Uh, you know, you do the practice problems kind of, I don't know, after learning a couple of a uh, couple of things to do. I would try to pause it and do it on my own, just like you said. Sometimes I would do it. Sometimes I would get absolutely stuck. I would just have to keep watching the videos until, like, I finally learned how to do it. And then, of course, taking advantage of the teaching the assistants to help me out to solve my problems. Okay. Um, and so Tableau was not really an issue because it's all graphical user interface, right? With SQL, you're doing more like programming. You get the wrong syntax. The things like 99% yeah. correct, but one thing wrong and then it just doesn't Yeah, work. one letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One character yeah. wrong. Uh, yeah, for Tableau, I think yeah, it wasn't as a big of a challenge as SQL. Yeah. There was a challenge to it a little bit just because uh, there's so much you could do with Tableau to organize the graphs and the data to make it look as presentable as you would want it to be. Um, so there was so much to it. There was a little bit of a challenge to it, but not as much as a, like SQL or Python. Yep, yep. And then how about the final exam? Did you have, did you take it, the final, uh, the, the proctored and unproctored portions? Did you take those once or did you need to go through them a couple times? So luckily I passed for the final exam. The unproctored one, I passed. I passed simply because I kept preparing for it. So I kept going through the videos over again and I kept practicing 
you know, the practice instructor in the practice final exam. I kept doing those over and over and over simply because um, I really needed to get the information down into my head. But I, it was a lot of practicing and preparing to finally take the final exams. But I luckily I passed on my first try for both of the exams. And then uh, what was your experience when you finished? Well, actually, let me just ask, how long do you remember did it take you to go from like signing up for the paid, the full course to completing it? Um, it took me about two to three months, I believe, uh, to finish everything. And that was me like making that the priority. I, I really wanted to, you know, get a job in data analytics and, and move away from that, that current role I had. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was doing it every single day trying to get through as much as I can really, you know, put to the gas. Yeah. But yeah, I know some days I didn't do it, but it was my main priority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you were, do you know, like five hours a week, 10 hours a week? What would you say you were putting in? Like an hour and a half, an hour and a half. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. So yeah. you, you were steady most every day, hour and a half, two, two to three months. Yeah. You got through it all. Okay. And then once you finished, what's, what steps did you take to land a role? Yeah. So the steps I did was I, um, I knew I was going to take advantage of the of the coaching services that you guys mm -hmm. offer. Um, so I because I knew my resume had to be fixed up um, in order to be tailored for data analytics. Yep. Um, yes, at the end of the course, um, you know, you kind of go through that um, the graduate portal and they help you, you know, fix your resume up. Um, I fixed it up. I did it. But I still think I needed some more tailoring because I didn't really know much about the resume. So I um, what was her name Mary. Hopkins, I believe. H O M E Hoke. Yeah. Hoke, Mary Hoke. Yeah, there we go. I reached out to her. Yeah. Uh, so I had a session with her and she helped me. She answered all my questions. She helped me fix up my resume. She told me a bunch of mock interview questions that they might ask me, yeah. as well as fixing up my uh, my LinkedIn. So she did a, a phenomenal job. I'm glad I went to her. Um, and then she, I think she really gave me an advantage or she really helped me prepare to land the role that I'm currently right. at. Yes. I mean, so far, everybody I've I've talked to who's landed roles either worked with one of our coaches or their own, you know, that they found, but they had somebody to to help look over and tighten up their resume. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a must, I, I believe. Yeah. I, I mean, you can do some of the work yourself, kind of get into better shape, but I think you need a second pair of eyes on it. Oh, yeah. And then you just, did you just apply to open positions? Like, what was the... Yeah, like? so at first, uh, yeah, so at first I was applying to open positions. Um, I was kind of simply just applying on LinkedIn, on, on Indeed. Um, and then I started networking out to some of my friends who were in the logistics uh, industry, hmm. uh, asking them if they had open positions at the company. Luckily, I, I came across one of my friends who did have an open position that just kind of opened up. Yep. Um, and I, I applied to the position. I told them, hey, um, if you can, you know, I guess, put in a word for me. Um, you know, here's my resume, things of that nature. And then after I applied, it was about two days after they finally reached out to me, did the phone interview, things of that nature. And then I think that following week, I did a second in-person interview. Yeah. That second in-person interview was with th three people. It was with the HR um, manager, my boss, and his boss. You know, asked me, they really just asked me a bunch of behavioral and situational questions. They didn't really ask me that much about my data analytics experience, except if I knew itself because it's a big part of the job. Right. Uh, it didn't really require me to learn to know SQL, Python, and Tabula. That day, after my second interview, I only had two interviews. Yeah. That day, about two hours later, they they sent me an offer letter. Awesome. So it was only a two round interview. It was a pretty quick turnaround. I think it was about two weeks. Um, yeah. For that for that process to get that job, but in, in all my my total job search, I guess uh, it was pretty short. To be quite honest with you, if anything was like it, within a month, mm -hmm. I got that. Uh, I got I learned that role. Did you hear back on any of the other applications you put in, or was it just that they you you'd apply and just uh, no thanks or whatever? Yeah, so uh, I applied to a couple ones. Some I didn't even reach back out. I never got. Yeah, you know. Uh, even like a like no thank you we're not moving forward with you I probably only got back one it was like no thank you um, but like um, when I finally finished the course picked up my resume and that's when I started mass applying because I didn't want to apply to jobs without being I guess quote unquote perfect and ready to go yeah so I only I barely applied to jobs um, I did apply to do some but not as like a mass like over 20 or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said it was within a month uh, where I got the job. Right. Um, okay. 
So from from signing up to landing the job, you had a really short time period, right? It's like less le, like less than four months. It sounds like you yeah, know, about three mm-hmm. months to do the class in a month, two three months to do the class in one month. That's all. That's amazing. Um, yeah. And so, uh, can you talk about like is it? It sounds like the position is not like uh, in person. Is that right? Yes. So it's a hybrid role. So um, I'm two days in the office, three three days at home. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm currently doing training, so right now for the first few months I'll be in the office. Um, gotcha. But to talk about the role of just a little bit, the title is like a rating analyst for a logistics company. So basically, we're just looking at um, you know invoices and bills, all this data that the logistics company gets for the for the trailers and things of that nature. We're organizing it and we're simplifying the process. That way, there won't be there's not many like I guess like a middleman. So. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we're just trying to simplify this process so that the bills go through the system automatically and they won't like, spit out an error or something like that. Um, so it's a lot of Excel. It's a lot of looking at the data, organizing it, um, and problem solving, a lot of problem solving. Nice. nice. But if you're automating, there may also be room to build in other tools. Like you'll have to see as you get more acquainted with it, like using, exactly. know, using Zapier or Python to like you know script some of these things or even VBA, Visual Basic. Yeah, exactly. So you, yeah. 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 Nice. And are you comfortable talking about pay range? Yeah. So it was about from 50 to 60 for the entry yeah, yeah, level yeah. role. Yeah. But I mean, for an entry level, I think that's very typical. And, you know, you, you're going to build skills oh, yeah. and, and grow from there, right? Yeah. Um, even in the uh, even in the graduate portal, I forgot who was teaching it, the graduate yeah. portal. He even said, like, oh, I think even you said it as well when you're a job searching at the end. It's very typical that for an entry level role, you're going to start like at 50, yeah. 50 to 60 maybe. And then from there, you know, the, in the logistics industry, the opportunities are endless. So mm-hmm. um, you could just work your way up from there. So uh, other thoughts. So just, just to ask, would you recommend course careers or do you have, you know, thought of, uh, for, for people who are looking at a new career, trying to, trying to pivot? Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely recommend core groups just because you know you could learn anything from data analytics, HR, to tech sales, IT, um, and you know all these other, I guess different career paths you, you can you can explore. Um, I can't speak for you know every single individual course just because I've only taken yeah. yours, but going through yours, you're very, very detail oriented and explaining what the foundation of what you need to learn. A lot of pro- there's a lot of problems within course careers so you can actually apply what you're learning and really stick in your head. And of course, they help you. Uh, you have the teaching assistants to help you with any I guess issues you're having. Um, they help you fix up your resume. They offer the coaching services kind of towards the end, which is I would definitely recommend to have. Um, and, you know, everyone's kind of there to help each other out. Uh, everyone, you know, every, we all want each other to get a job and you know expand into a new career so i would definitely recommend it i, I think honestly you know i wouldn't have the job sports careers or even going through the coaching uh, with mary i think she really helped me out fix up my resume to help me get the, the role that i have right now yeah i think the thing for other people is just to remember you did put in a lot of effort like an hour and a half a day along with your job right it wasn't like that was the only yeah. thing you had going on in your life like you were making that hour and a half like most every day to work on the course for, for yep. you know, a quarter of a year or something like that, you know, so yeah. it was a, a pretty significant effort on your part. And so there are oh, yeah. you might sign up and, and not really be ready to put in that effort to, to have that, you know, change, yeah. that change that you had. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah I was, uh, yeah, I was miserable at the, at my old job. I was so uh-huh. miserable at it. And I just, that was kind of the driving factor was like, man, I need to learn this. I need to learn what I'm being taught as quickly as I can so I can move out of this job and you know hopefully land a job at the in the data analytics. You know, yeah, yeah. Career. Okay. So it's like I'm totally miserable at my job. There's a little bit of it that I like, which is using data. Let's go figure out how to use some data, you know, in in, in a in a better company or whatever, a better environment where Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, well, I, I wish you all the best with your new new career and uh, everything. And uh, I guess you're at the gym now, so enjoy the rest. I am of at the gym. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you, I bet you can bench more than me. So you know. I'm so I'm barely getting there. Yeah. 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 But yeah it was awesome. Yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend for you. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to chat and best wishes with with the new role. All right. Thank you, Lucas. Yeah. I'll see you then. All right. Take care.